All right, what is up, guys? We got the Hyper Star Light Swan. What is the Hyper Star Light Swan? Well, it uses Hyper Star, which is a new card that uh, just got announced. And uh, what it does, uh, well, I guess we should go over its summoning requirements. It's one of those cards that's like in like every archetype uh, that is, or in every uh, attribute. Basically, uh, if there's like a, a light one, everything that's light gains 500, and all dark lose 400. Uh, there's a water one that makes fire lose its stat. It's like it's basically like. Every every deck has it now, uh, but uh, anyways, the point of the the uh, card in Light Sworn though is actually kind of interesting. So what we're using it for in Light Sworn is actually uh, its other effect, which is when it is destroyed by battle or by oh what does this do? Carival. Uh, if this card is wait, during the player's turn, he sends card paid to that life points. You take no damage this turn. Okay, well that's that's totally fine. I don't know what deck he has, but. Not really too concerned about it, to be honest. But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and make uh, Minerva here. And uh, again, uh, okay, let me go back to what I was talking about with the uh, the uh, universe card. So the, the point of it is when it is just sort of a battle by card effect, and it doesn't have to be by your opponents, uh, what you can actually do, we can still technically make it this turn. Now, he did Kari Volt me, so I can't really do anything in terms of like OTKing him, although I could probably beat him this turn um, if he allows me to, uh, because, well, I could just, you know, use... Uh, my other cards so he's going for reckless greed so he's he's probably playing some type of a cheese deck it doesn't really matter the point is is to uh make this card summon judgment dragon blow it up search out another judgment dragon that's like the main goal of it so i'm just gonna sit here uh we'll, we'll just start sending some cards to the graveyard we'll go for lumina um and lumina can actually get you another lumina which can actually give you like pretty much instant access to it since he did curry volt me it's uh no damage this turn uh so i can't really do anything uh although um making curious would be kind of cute uh, i just want to go for the new card guys um yeah, there, there's uh, not too much else that we can really do here other than like we could technically make the card but the point is is guys uh it works quite well in light sworn uh if you're running honest your monsters might survive so there's easy access to that but if you activate the effects of like let's say you go lumina into lila lila pop one or any other light sworn that would activate an effect and it has like some other like downside where it can't really do anything for the rest of the turn um like for example lumina like once you activate her effect you, she's expendable, right? But you can Lumina into another Lumina and into another Lumina. Uh, I'll see if we can do the play, guys. Um, and then what I can actually do is after I use two Lumina's effect, I use the third Lumina to actually get back the other Lumina that was already using its effect. Because there, even though Lumina is a once per turn, it's once per turn per like time it's like there. So I'm going to see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about, if it makes sense to you guys. Um, he's probably playing some type of Exodia deck. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Um, but I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> uh, he probably has some type of Battle Fader type of a card. So, I mean, may, maybe... I'm, I'm guessing... Oh my gosh, this guy and his one day at peace. Okay, so regardless, I mean, his deck is probably just some cheese deck anyways. Not that it matters, because uh, I want to show you guys uh, the Lumina combo that makes this card really dirty. Uh, do we have three Luminas? We have one, two, and three Luminas. Well, th this is the third one over here. And the point is, is guys, to show you guys the uh, the the, uh, the combo with, of course, the new card. Um, I, I, I'm just going to, like, basically forfeit this duel uh, in a sense, because I, I'm going to probably deck myself out. But the point is, is that um, the card is actually really good. Uh, so... We're going to make our guy, uh, we'll, we'll probably search out like double judgment dragons, uh, and it would be like an OTK. But again, this guy's playing some cheese deck, so it's, I mean, people will probably rage quit if they saw triple judgment dragons. Anyways, uh, in majority of duels, that's going to be game. No one really plays battle fade or Karevolt, but we already know he's got some type of a back row that's going to prevent me from making a game. Uh, so, uh, what you, you can, you have a lot of different combos in it, and this video, again, isn't necessarily just to, uh, show you guys, uh, like Light Sworn, it's to show you guys the new combos, and basically, this is the combo that makes the deck super good. Now, I can use all three of these cards, I can activate this effect and probably draw some extra cards for the for the sake of the video, let's just go all in. All right, why not? Uh, but I want to show you guys the Lumina combo. Okay, so he's going to draw some extra cards, even though, like, there's no need to activate this immediately. All right, so we have, like, well, we have a lot of options here. <laughs> all right. So, um, like I said, there's a Lumina combo that you, you guys can go for. Uh, for the sake of going for this boy, we're going to make our boy over here. So, we're going to go ahead and make him, uh, and uh, it doesn't really matter what we... Uh, where was his zones again? I think it was, like, bottom left and 
bottom right, right? Okay, I was right on that. Okay, so it does boost up their stats. Yeah, that, that's kind of cute and all, but the main thing I want to show you guys that makes it super cool with Lumina, watch this combo, guys. Watch this. And this guy won't quit on me because, well, he, he can't take damage this turn anyway. So we're going to use Lumina's effect to get back Lumina, okay? And this is where I really feel like, oh, it's really amazing in Light Sworn. Now, keep in mind, you can only activate <clears throat> the effect of Hyperstar once per turn, but the, the stat boost is still kind of cute, right? Uh, so this Lumina already uses effect. This Lumina has not used its effect. I'm going to use this Lumina's effect. I get rid of Fairy Tail Snow. I mean, it, it's OTK several different ways, but I want to show you guys, uh, again, uh, the uh, the power of uh, Hyperstar and uh, abusing kind of Lumina here. So this Lumina uses its effect. This Lumina uses its effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now use... Um, this Lumina and this Lumina, because they both activated their effect, right? And then we're going to go ahead and get a Hyperstar. Now we're going to activate this Lumina's effect and get back another Lumina. So again, discarding it. The fairy tale snow, I guess, would be like an active card. Then we're going to go ahead and get back this Lumina. Do you guys see where this is going? Completely, completely fair and balanced, Kappa. I mean, obviously this is game. Uh, but uh, at this point, this Lumina hasn't used its effect, so I can use this Lumina. And I, d I don't have three Hyperstars. Maybe I should have put in three Hyperstars for the sake of it. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make another card. Again, the, the, the point of this is just to show you guys... Uh, uh, oh, gosh. Which, which Lumina hasn't used its effect? Oh, gosh. I think it's I think this one's used the effect. So, anyways, I'm going to select that one, that one, that one, and that one. I hope I selected the right one. Uh, do I want to draw, like, four cards? Heck, yeah, I want to draw four cards. Um, we don't need to activate Fairy Tail Snow. Putting some cards back, it does, does it really matter at this point? Not really. Um... I mean, we could desire him. Uh, actually, we can't because there's not enough. Okay, so we can activate this Luminous Effect. And that's where, again, Hyperstar can become very, very good. Uh, just because it lets you just go into something that's going to give you stat boost. Again, I can basically go on for days with this. <laughs> I love this combo, by the way. But, uh, again, I want to show you guys the point of Hyperstar. So, at this point, uh, I mean, it, it was already game. Uh, he did activate one day at peace. He probably has another card, honestly, that's going to boost up uh, or prevent him from being destroyed. But I, I've got game, all right, like, if he didn't have one to hit peace. But uh, give me a second here. I could continue on with this Lumina combo. Uh, granted, I have the cards. So, like, you could go into triple hyperstar, right? Um, and that's, that's pretty good. But uh, what I really wanted to showcase off, I believe we have another Judgment Dragon in the graveyard, right? Uh, there is... Do we have to... Okay, there's a Judgment Dragon in the graveyard, so I'm going to go ahead and activate this effect. I'm gonna pop everything on the field. Uh, not that we need to. It's he probably again has Blabaku threatening roar. It's it's. I want to actually know what deck he's playing. We can find out right after this. Hope for escape. So he's gonna draw a bunch of cards, which is strange because like, I mean, why not though, right? So I'll we'll activate that effect. Uh, another one, and so and before he exodias me, because I, I wanted to show. All I'm doing, guys, is adding another dragon drag. But we, we want that effect, yes, of Hyperstar. We get to add anything. We add back more Hyperstars. We should have played three Hyperstars for the video. <laughs> but I'm adding back a Judgment Dragon. And uh, again, I, I know he activated one day at peace, but like, I, I get to search out whatever I want. And uh, basically, I'm just trying to throw out everything uh, just, for, just for, for the sakes of like showing you guys it's pretty easy to make a game in this deck. Uh, there we go. Banish those two. And bam, we got the Black House Soldier. That's going to be game. And... Uh, what we're gonna deck out so i'm just gonna hit surrender here but i do want to know what this guy was playing <laughs> let, let me let, let me actually find this out but i wanted to show you guys the 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 plays of hyperstar with lumina you can make triple granted you have to have the cards in your hand but like that's not that difficult with Nerva getting all those pluses man all right so i want to i want to know what the heck he was playing and we can find out real easy by doing this whoops not deck edit watch replay and we just go in here i bet you it was like some type of exodia was it it's, dude the iq the high iq plays all right so yeah it was it was exodia um but uh and what was it was it? form random formula synchron does he even have a tuner what is the tuner into the deck? Oh, the white, the the white stone legend. I think it's the tuner. Anyways, so uh, now that I've shown you guys that, I'll give you guys like a brief little deck profile. There's nothing really special with it. Um, this is actually my first time playing with the deck, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't even get to test out what I wanted to test out, but I, I can make it. That's that could be a separate video. Um, there's actually an infinite loop with uh, Phantom of Chaos or Black Lodge Soldier when, with Upstar Goblin or Into the Void. Um, it it can open up like any FTK, it lets you draw infinitely, but that's 
kind of for another video, and I was like, dude, I might, I might show it off in this video. Didn't even get to test it out. But, um, anyways, I was also thinking about using Allure of Darkness, because Primal Seed will let me add back, like, any of the cards that I banished, uh, via, like, of course, like, Lumina's effect. Uh, but, uh, there's, oh, I forgot to mention, there's also a Dark Lumina, which can actually extend your combos, like, further. Um, uh, but, keep in mind, this is not actually a light monster. Uh, so if you wanted to run, like, Triple Hyperstar, and you had, like, I don't know, like, a large hand, you could go Triple Hyperstar OTK, but, uh, also, Hyperstar allows you to just utilize, let's say you go, like, Lumina, or uh, you can, you can Fairy Tail, you can, uh, Photon Thrasher, or if you, uh, ride in into a wolf, you could make a Minerva, um, but Minerva is a little bit RNG. If you want some consistency, uh, you can go for Hyperstar if you happen to have like enough Light Sworn in the graveyard. And you can go for, again, Hyperstar. Then you summon your Judgment Dragon. You blow up the field. More than likely, if you've summoned like two monsters and made Hyperstar, if they had background, they might have activated it. Uh, but uh, at that point, you go for Hyperstar. Then you go ahead and summon Judgment Dragon. You blow up the field. Then you search out your second Judgment Dragon. And then you just proceed to OTK. Just kind of like how I showed you guys. But it's a cool card, and like I said with Lumina, it just allows you to just make something real quick and then go straight into like another one, and it lets you go triple Hyperstar. And th at that point, you don't even need Judgment Dragon to make a game. You just need a large hand, which sometimes it happens in Light Swarms, where you, you don't happen to have, uh, you know, those solar recharges or charges, because obviously you would have activated them. You might have dead, those dead cards like the Wolves, those uh, Felices. That's what, where it really helps out, by just going and just going into multiple Hyperstars for all the stat boosts on these mediocre monsters. And uh, you guys saw that I was able to make a game with pretty much just, like, the Luminas. I didn't need anything else, but I wanted to show you guys the full extent of how good Hyperstar can be in this variant. Anyways, let's get started with the deck profile. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for improvements, uh, like I said, I just made this first variant. I was thinking about, like, prim Primal. There's an uh, infinite combo. Uh, anyways, I'm running Triple JD. Probably shouldn't run Triple, uh, or Double Black. Wait, Black Soldier? at three isn't it probably shouldn't be running three of these but i was like dude i gotta play it man uh then we got three of the wolves um double thrasher we got one garoth two copies of uh book moon your monster and i uh, come back every single turn it's really annoying or every like turn multiple times to completely balance and then we got jane you probably drop jane honestly this is like a this is a card i was using uh back when i was doing the um uh, Tizer brother. Jane's not really that hot anymore. Like, who's who's afraid of a 21 attacker? Nobody. Remove Jane right now. Uh, you, you could throw in, like, any of these other cards. Like I said, I, I just made this deck. Um, but uh, keep on Geralt. Geralt's, Geralt's really really legit sometimes with Lumina. Then we have uh, a Triple Raiden. That's normal. Uh, we got one copy of Lila and Mediocre. Honestly, you could drop this card. <laughs> I like this card. This card's actually pretty helpful. But uh, anyways, uh, there's the uh, one regular Lila. Definitely recommend keeping in that. And then we have three copies of Felice, one copy of Lumina, uh, or I guess four copies of Lumina, but one dark one. And then one Raikou. This card is just really great for it. Uh, if you want to, like, go for a Judgment Dragon play, and you're like, oh, this card, like, I just need to get rid of one card. All you gotta do is banish Light Sword, banish one card on the field. <laughs> Sounds fair to me, right? And uh, triple solar recharges. I decided to go with uh, triple reincarnation. Um, I mean, you might not need it, honestly, but I was thinking that I can just go ahead and extend my combos to get uh, whatever I needed in the graveyard. Just because, like, if I don't happen to have Light Sworn, I can get back something else. And then uh, from there, I can extend my Lumina play. Because you do need one Light Sworn at least to activate Lumina's effect. Uh, but, I, I don't know, I've always really liked this card. It's just good. Sometimes uh, it can be a dead dead card, especially with, like, Triple Wolf, Triple Dozen. I'll admit, yeah, it can be. Uh, but I got, I got desires to help out with that consistency. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, Reborn. South Explanatory Charge and uh, Triple Desires. Uh, you can put in any, like, two other cards that you want to. Honestly, I don't recommend playing, like, the, the Triple Black Luster Soldier or, or even Double. You can maybe just play one. Uh, there are times where you're going to brick hands. I mean, there's, there's just, like, three, there's six, uh, nine, twelve cards that, like, opening up sometimes you just can't do anything with. But uh, those are rare occasions if you draw, like, all all of those in the first turn. But there's a part of Light Sworn is an RNG deck sometimes. Uh, as far as extra deck, uh, there's nothing really too special. Um, I haven't even made this card. I mean, ever since Minerva, I'd rather just make Minerva majority of the time. But yeah, with Lumina right in, it can be okay if you need to get rid of a card. I still think it's a, a viable card. Obviously, Utopia. Uh, turn out drag. I don't know. Like, there's only one, like, back removal in there. If you match up against someone that's playing something, like, random that, like, you just need to get rid of, like, a field spell. Like, they got Clock Tower Prison with all the counters. Like, randomly, like, this card helps out, man. Uh, same thing with Castell. Um, 
no memory for sure. And Cowboy to make a game sometimes. Uh, definitely keeping this card, definitely keeping this card. And uh, because Hyperstar, that's the point of the deck, was to really showcase off how... Uh, dude, this card's already so good. I want to make it like... I think it's... I don't know. Let me know, guys, if I should change Beaver Warrior to Hyperstar. This card, it just... Look at it. It looks so, like, bootleg. It's just... He just like, look at me, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that is the Hyperstar Light Sworn deck. Let me know, guys, what you think of it. And if you guys have any suggestions, we'd love to hear them down below. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to see more fresh Yu-Gi-Oh decks and also new Yu-Gi-Oh cards in action. And that is indeed the Hyperstar Light Sworn deck. Thanks for watching, guys. And I am signing out.